Okay, so what we have here today is a Panasonic AG-HVX205A camcorder, which is unfortunately not mine. Um, but the problem with this camcorder is it has a shattered display. Um, so what we are going to do today is I'm going to demonstrate how to dismantle it to replace the LCD display. Um, unfortunately, I was, well, I had located a replacement LCD display. However, um, it was listed on the site, but it was apparently not available. So, unfortunately, we're not able to repair the camera, but if anybody does have a source for the display, this should help in repairing the camera. Um, first step, now I've had, I've already taken all the screws out to um, speed things along a little bit. Um, first step is we're going to want to remove the bottom cover. There's six screws that hold the bottom cover on and it's just a piece of plastic that comes off and then we need to remove the top cover which in order to do that need to open the tape door and there is one screw right here and a few screws on top and then this cover lifts up and out of the way. And we'll close the tape door again. Now we need to remove this panel here. And there's a few screws. There's one screw up here, two screws here, one screw here, and there's a couple screws on the bottom as well that hold that in. And then this panel simply lifts off like so. Now you want to be careful because there's a ribbon cable in, in here. Okay, you need to release the cable connector like so. And we can set the rest of the camera off to the side because we don't need that anymore. This is the part that we're going to be working on um, with the display panel. All right, now there's a few screws that I haven't removed in order to, when I was putting it back together, it was just easier to put them back in than try to get everything back together and not have it fall apart. Um, two screws hold this little metal shield on right here. Now I remove these. And this is held in place by a little bit of sticky tape, or is it? No, it's not. Um, it just kind of snaps onto the, to a little guide pin there. Okay, so now next thing we want to do is to remove the actual LCD connector, the ribbon, little fine ribbon cable. And again, we have a little socket that we have to release here. And this one isn't a, it isn't a pull-out one like this one. It flips up. And the cable, this is where the sticky part is. Um, there is a little bit of this little rubber pad right here. Zoom in on that. There's this little rubber pad that the cable is stuck to. Now we want to be careful to not damage this cable as we're removing. Okay. Now, to remove the actual um, LCD assembly, there's one screw down in here which is accessible through the circuit board. We don't, do not need to remove the circuit board to get to this. 
I will take that one out. And there is one right here up at the top. Now, we should be able to simply, well, remove that, those two screws actually um, just hold this little plastic cover on for the hinge. Get that out of the way. And there is two more screws right here that hold the LCD display itself in place. And now the display simply lifts off. And again, we want to be careful of the ribbon cable. Fish it through the little slot there. And we can now set this piece aside, as we don't need that anymore. Now we have the actual LCD panel itself. Um, there are four screws on it. Two on this side, and two on this side, that hold it together. And after removing those screws, the back simply snaps off. There's a couple little clips here on the sides, so you have to be careful to not break those. All right, so now once this is off, we have our cable. Now this I left disconnected, um, but this is another one of the little flip-up type connectors. So we'll remove that and then we can remove the hinge assembly. So now we have the LCD panel itself and this is held in by a little bit of like double-sided tape to the frame and you want to be careful when removing that and you can see the little seal on there and when I was removing this one a little bit of the seal stuck to there and this is our LCD display which needs replaced. Um, the LCD itself, the LCD itself is a Toshiba, it's made by Toshiba, and it is an LTA, let me see it's a little too bright to see that. There we go. It's an LTA 035 D050A, I believe. Yes, that is correct. And that is the part number of the display assembly. Um, so, if anybody knows of a source for this LCD display, let me know. Um, but other than that, reassembly is just the opposite of disassembly. Start with putting the um, LCD back in the frame and um, a little bit of adhesive might be good to use, especially if your gasket tears like this one. Normally around the rest of the gasket doesn't appear to have any sort of adhesive on it, but if you lose some of the gasket, perhaps a little bit of silicone or something right along here just to seal it to keep out any dust or anything like that from the assembly itself. Um, but yeah, Assembly is exactly the opposite of disassembly, and it's fairly straightforward. Um, any questions, comments, just post. So, again, thanks for watching.